All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another session of Bible Online with Pastor Jeremy. Uh, trying to do these online Bible studies, online uh, small group studies, and you've been sending some questions, comments, ideas. Uh, today we have a question about a passage in 2 Corinthians regarding this comment uh, or this quote that Paul gives, my grace is sufficient enough for you. So let's dive in and look at this passage and then I'll kind of give a little bit of a explanation of what's going on here. So you can, if you have a Bible, you can open it up to 2 Corinthians uh, New Testament letter written by Paul to the church of Corinth. And we're going to chapter 12. Again, 2 Corinthians chapter 12. All right. And uh, verses 7 through 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. And here's what it says. Paul writes, So to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations... A thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will, I will boast all the more gladly of my weakness so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. All right. So to answer this question, I kind of want to, I think it's important that we first talk about who's, who's talking. This is the Apostle Paul, and let's talk about Paul's background. He uh, refers to him, you know, in other passages, is a Pharisee above Pharisees. He was a leader of the religious institution, uh, the Jewish law. He had a lot of power. He was overseeing the stoning of Stephen in Acts. He hunted down Christians. This is who he was. He, he had a lot of power, uh, a lot of influence into uh, the religious world and really held a lot of Christians captive and, and, and just trying to squash Christianity. In understanding Paul's conversion, he had a miraculous conversion where Jesus met him on the road to Damascus and hit him with a big bright light and, you know, told, told at that time his name was Saul, but his name would become Paul and said, you, you're going to be used for my work. Jesus is, gonna, is going to use Paul in an amazing way and had this miraculous conversion this hard-hitting uh, revelation conversion, this big deal. So much so that Paul was blinded for three days. Finally, scales come off, and that is a transition point. From that moment on, Paul gives his entire life, everything he is, to the cause of Jesus Christ and the spread of the gospel. Now, let's talk about this present situation. We don't know what the, the thorn in his flesh is, it's apparent, the imagery here, is that there's a serious struggle that he has. And some people have said, oh, maybe it's a sin struggle. Is it a, is it a, a physical struggle, an emotional struggle, an ailment? There's lots of different uh, thoughts or guesses on what it is. But either way, it's a point in his life that keeps him weak. It's a weakness that he has. And uh, this weakness, he, he, he's saying, you know, it's a, it's a thorn from Satan. It's, it's, it's a way that Satan keeps beating him down. It's something that discourages him. It's something that, that maybe hinders him from, from doing what he wants to do. But Jesus tells him, as he quotes Jesus, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. And, and then Paul resolves to say, well, whatever happens, whether I still have this weakness, whether or not I'm in, uh, what does he say, insults, hardships, persecution, calamities, no matter what terrible thing happens to me, I am going to find uh, the grace of Jesus that it's sufficient, that I will endure difficult things, including the weakness that he's dealing with, this, this difficult thing, and he's going to rely fully on Christ and, and that Christ is going to accomplish his work in Paul and definitely did. We have the historic evidence 
and the spread of the gospel, that Jesus will do his work with or without Paul, with or without his weakness, and actually in spite of the weakness. And so what is the application here for us out of this? Maybe you're dealing with a weakness. Maybe you have a struggle. Maybe you have a physical ailment, emotional, mental ailment. Maybe you have something that, that you're struggling with. I know I do. Um, there are a few struggles in my life that I've prayed that God would just get rid of. I, I just want him to change who I am. I, these things are weak areas of my life, and I, I just want God to snap his fingers and get rid of them. But for some reason, he doesn't. But I also know if he did get rid of every weakness I had, I might lean into me more than him. And I find in the areas where I'm weakest, that's where I tend to lean into Jesus and where uh, Jesus uses me in those areas, even though I'm not the best at them or even though I have a weakness in them. So for you, uh, again, if we take this and apply this, I don't know what your area of weakness is, and maybe you'll pray and God will remove that. I'm not saying that he can't remove your weakness. He might. But he might also, like Paul, might just leave that weakness in your life. And he may let you struggle with it, not to punish you in any way, but so that you'll rely on his strength, on, on his grace. And what, he, what he's going to show the world through you is that you're going to do amazing things, and, and you're going to do, do incredible things for the church and the gospel, even though maybe you're not the best, even though you have weakness, even though that you struggle. Jesus is still going to use you, and he's still going to advance the gospel through you. Um, so that is, in a nutshell, what this whole concept of, of Jesus saying, my grace is sufficient. If you have further questions, if you want to go deeper on this, in the comment stream below, just type your comment in there. I'll make sure I stay on top of it. You can also drop me a message if you want to keep it more private, if you have something to, to say that's private, and I'll make sure I get back to you. Also, you can uh, follow the different links at mountainviewwhitehorse.ca and all our social media platforms. Just search at Mountain View Whitehorse and you can get connected there. And a last uh, bit, of, uh, a bit of advice is if you have a question about a Bible passage, a topic, you can throw that to me. Just say, hey, Jeremy, can you put this in the roster? I would like you to work through this when you get a chance in these uh, online Bible study uh, moments. All right. Hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, make sure you're staying connected. Have a wonderful week.